For Black History Month, I don't want to talk about our past and our suffering. I want to talk about the future, the things that you can look forward to. So my name is Dion. I'm a journalist by day. Um, I also do some doomsday prepping, but I also am a research analyst for certain media companies. They asked me to do some analyzing of social media and predict trends. And so that's one of my side jobs, one of my side hustles, besides doing some articles and some pseudonyms. So I want to talk about the black population going forward. The black population increased by 11% in black America alone. Now, the global black population is going to increase according to the, to the United Nations and according to their analysis. By 2050, you're looking at 2.9 billion Africans in the African continent. And by 2070 and also into the end, end of the century, you're looking at 4.9 billion. Why are you seeing this crazy increase? Well, there's, there's several reasons for that, several factors. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a push for families there in the African continent. Um, the way that, that people look at families are a little bit different, but that, that, that can't be it because we're seeing population decreases in, 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 in other places where, you know, you have governments who are trying to push people to have children like for example you look at japan japan's population is an aging population you know and they're getting older and older and older people are having less and less and less children and it's becoming harder and harder and harder to have children without some of these defects now why is that happening across the planet well i want you to know it's patterns the places that are having the most problems and the populations who are having the most issues with you know, birth rates and having children happen to be the most xenophobic. Like, for example, here in, here, here in America, you know, you see a lot of white people who are having trouble with children. Well, it's because many, many of those people, if you look at their lineage, you'll find that there's a lot of white people. That's not a whole lot of genetic diversity. Whereas with the black population, We've always done interracial dating. We've always, you know, you've, you've, well, okay. So back in ancient Africa, no, you didn't really see that, of course. But, you know, past 100 years, 200 years, yeah, you've seen that. So you've had the diversity. Or you look at, you know, <laughs> some parts of the, of the Hispanic community. Well, if they mixed in with white people, you have Afro Latinos. You, you have a lot of diversity there. You know, you got the Portuguese. You, you've got a lot of diversity there. You know, you know, you go down to South America, you go down to places like Brazil, a lot of diversity there. A lot of different people all into a big melting pot. But then you start going over to places in Europe where you have just white people, just white people, just white people. You notice these birth rate declines. You go over to places that are more xenophobic. I'm not going to say which country I'm talking about, but it's, po it's possibly one of the top two most populated countries on planet Earth. Very xenophobic had a policy where people could only have one kid and now it's backfiring backfiring really bad right now so the reason why that is it is it's unfortunate all this stuff is happening because we don't want to praise that's ha that 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 happening but nature being nature and things happening the way that it happens same way if you if you play basketball if the main star on the other team gets gets some hurt that's unfortunate but you still go for the championship right so keep your eye on the prize right now the black population the global black population is increasing that is good news for all of us because right now you're seeing an uprising of black consciousness you're seeing an uprising of black people just not taking it no more you see in black folks saying, you know what, I, I don't want to be a part of the process no more if you're not going to give us tangibles. You're seeing that now. So what's going to happen when our population increases more and more and more? Are you, do, you, do you think you, you're, going to, you're going to see more or less of that? You're going to see more of it. And right now, that's what, that's what has certain people scared, frantic, upset. But there's nothing they can do about it. Now, there's other factors that are going into some of these birth rate declines. Um, I've made some videos about, you know, some of the radiation, some of my theories. But again, be that as it may, for whatever reason that is happening, it's happening. Which gives us a, a, a golden opportunity. 
you're going to see a global black population. So if you're starting a business right now, plan on that. Plan on having having your business whereas you can ship things to the African continent. You can ship things to South America, Mexico, I, I mean, over the parts of Asia where you have some black people because you're going to see black populations increase there too. But also make sure you can ship internationally. Make sure you learn some different languages, you know? Make sure you... You, you, you start building those relationships now because with the black population increasing now, especially if you are a young business owner, with the black population increasing now, that means that those are potential customers and clients that you can deal with with your business or service. Now, if you do something that's like local, like you you like a plumber, you are like, you know, you are you an electrician. Sure, maybe that's, that's more localized. You can't really export that. But if you have a, a product, you know, you make uh, cupcakes, you make pies, uh, you do barbecue, you can ship that stuff, right? So start laying down the foundations with black people around the world right now. Like I've, I've already started doing that because I'm realizing it's going to be a population explosion. I know that. I'm all, we're, 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 we're already seeing the evidence of that. The, va- the fact that I'm in a, I'm, I live on the side of a mountain right now in a place that is supposedly very very white but i'm seeing more and more black people at least a lot a lot of light-skinned black people lets me know a lot the world's changing before your very eyes and a lot of you aren't even noticing some some people are just are just too wrapped up in their in their own thing take a look around and realize the world is getting blacker and you have to adjust accordingly this is good news. This is good news for you because with the higher population increase, it doesn't necessarily it means that you're gonna necessarily find allies who, who are gonna see black empowerment and the black condition and your condition as exactly the same. I'm not saying that's gonna automatically happen, but I'm just saying if we just roll roll the dice. Right? If we roll the dice enough. You can start a revolution. All you need are the numbers. And yeah, in some in some countries now, black people outnumber um, some of their oppressors ten to one, and they're still being oppressed. Granted, but an eleven percent increase in the black American population and increases elsewhere. There is a point where there's too many people to oppress. So that is good news. That's not about oppression. That's about us doing better. That's about us. You know, people told us that that, that we don't start families. That that clearly isn't true. People said that, you know, we we are not the best parents. That clearly is not true. Because we have to be, you know, pretty good parents to have so many children. <laughs> and them turn out so well, whereas they're going to be pretty pretty soon the face of this planet so with that being said let's keep our eye on the prize understand that you're going to have a lot more allies coming into the fight pretty soon you just got to hold steady and the best part about this is that you're going to have a a lot more diversity of black people you know you're going to have a lot of afro latinos a lot of blasians you're going to have a lot of you know people from you're going to have half black half 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 Australian white like uh, people like uh, I want to say Dante Exum you know from the NBA but you can have a lot of interesting mixtures of black people and and you're going to see it more often I mean you they, they already exist but it's going to be much more plentiful and it's going to be much more visible it's going to change the face of advertising you're going to have to if you want to appeal to the biggest audience you got to appeal to a black audience at some point see that's what a lot of people don't see. You're going to have to start appealing to us now. As you're already starting to see in black America. So. Keep your eye on the prize. The future looks bright. And that's my black history video for the month. Stay safe out there guys.